Hello students, a very warm welcome. Today we guys are going to discuss about a very important campus, VIT. And we will also talk about the examination, VT examination that is conducted for getting into the VIT college. The campus is something which you can see at the back. Uh, but we guys are going to talk about what are the good pros, cons and more importantly, analysis of VT examination. You can find about the college VIT on multiple channels, but we are going to talk about the analysis part of the examination that is much more relevant at this point in time for you. So quickly starting off with NIRF ranking is 12th uh, of this particular college. Hamesha top 15, top 20 mein rehta, and uh, you can say South India's topmost private college is VIT, right? Uh, placements here, if we talk about 2020, total students place 7,075. Why? Because here, 2500 seats are only seats for CSCS. 2500 seats for CSCS. I tell you the magic here. There is a very important saying here for VIT. And they say that average CTC is 8. I don't believe Honestly speaking, don't believe stats in many stats. But yeah, honestly speaking, it will give you a decent uh, enough package. Uh, but the competition is very high because you have a lot of students here on the campus. Right, um, it is in four campuses now. Earlier it was Vellore, now then it expanded to Chennai, then it expanded to Bhopal and Amravati. So there are four campuses in totality of the VIT. Now the examination that they conduct for getting into VIT is called VIT. Uh, it's a online computer based examination. 2021 mein pattern B change hua tha. 2020 mein there was no VIT conducted because of the COVID situation. They took the admission through J mains and their board examinations only so part subject are there physics chemistry maths and english and aptitude english and aptitude jaise ki aap maan ke chaliye aapka bitsat mein bhi aata hai similarly manipal mein bhi aata hai the same thing happens here it's a two and a half hour exam 150 minutes 125 questions a uh, good point is plus one with no negative there is no negative marking so if you want to do some random guess yes you should actually do all 125 questions here multiple choice what is the segregation 35 questions in physics, 35 questions in chemistry, 14 maths, 5 in English and 10 in aptitude to cover those 125 questions in totality in 150 minutes you have to attempt the paper. The level of the paper is very very easy. Uh, in fact, it would be substandard paper if you compare it with JE mains. Uh, okay, scholarships for top performer and the scholarship is for top performers of these uh, boards. Uh, topper of each state board and central board get 100% uh, waiver, tuition fee waiver. Or not, because you think that a lot of students come from different states, so there are two major costs here. That is the hostel fee and the mess fee, which is in itself 1-1.5 lakh a year. So here, the fee you are seeing discount, that is only on the tuition fee. Right? I am not going to get into depth of it, but you can understand scholarship is for toppers of each state board. VT rank holders 1 to 50, 51 to 100, and 100 to 1000 get 25% off on the tuition fee. Now understand there is a very important saying about VT that every student get, get a CS branch irrespective of its rank. So if you have 4000 rank, 400 rank, in some cases there is 15000 rank, then you can get CS. Mil sakta hai. Sir, what are you saying? How is it even possible? It, it, it is possible because they have molded this into calling a scholarship way. That if you have a high, score, a high rank but you still want to just pursue CS, why just wait around for, uh, you know, to get a high rank? You pay more and get CS. I do not know how good or bad it is, but this is what VIT is doing. So they have divided the scholarship in five categories, right? They call it in the scholarship bracket, category one, two, three, four, five. What do you mean by that? That if you are in these categories, your price will increase. So what I've written is if you are a category one student, that means top ranker, I'll tell you what cutoff rank is there. You the four year fee will be around 15 lakh. Kai cases may ya chauda o sati, kayo me sola o sati, I do not know. But these are expected or the round of figures, including your tuition fee, uh, including your uh, uh, hostel fee, and including your mess fee. Take it to itana kuch banega apka, pure salga. It's a private university, very, very costly university, no doubt about it. Take it up. Or category five, purchase lakh the key fees jati, which doesn't obviously make sense. But yes, a lot of students still go. Uh, to VIT, right? So, rote hai low ki sir paisa nahi hai, par eventually VIT mein jake, in categories mein jake, CS mein paisa barbad karte hai. Ab categories hai kya? So, category one for CSC branch. So, I told you that anybody can get into CSC with any rank. So, if you are around under 4K rank, you are in category one, where your fees will be then the most scholarship fee will be. Or agar aap top 1000 ke andar hai, to top 1000 mein aapko ye wali or fee reduction ho jayega. 
बट इफ यू आर इन कैटेगरी टू कैटेगरी टू इज बिटवीन फोर के टू एट के एंड दिस इज टेंटेटिव गाइज दिस इज टेंटेटिव इट कुड वेरी ईयर टू ईयर कैटेगरी थ्री इज लेस देन फिफ्टीन के कैटेगरी फोर इज लेस देन ट्वेंटी के एंड कैटेगरी फाइव इज अब ट्वेंटी के इफ यू वॉन्ट एंड देन यू कैन इफ यू वॉन्ट सी एस ब्रांच यू कैन गेट बाई पेइंग समथिंग अराउंड ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक्स फॉर द फोर ईयर कोर्स सो दिस इज द बैड पार्ट आई शुड से ओपनली अबाउट बिटी विच समाइम्स क्रिएट्स नॉट अ गुड एनवायरमेंट बट येस वी डू स्टिल हैव पीपल वेयर विच आर वेरी कॉम्पिटेटिव इन द एयरमेंट एज अ होल इट्स अ वेरी कॉम्पिटेटिव कॉलेज बट दिस इज आई थिंक अ ड्रॉबैक फॉर श्योर नाउ वी आर नॉट एयर टू टॉक अबाउट कॉलेज कैसा है क्या नहीं है अच्छा बुरा कैंपस की फोटो आप देख सकते हैं दूसरी वीडियोज में आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मोस्ट वेटेड पार्ट दैट इज दी विटी एनालिसिस द एग्जाम एनालिसिस सो वॉट वी गेज ऑफ डेन इज वी हैव एनालाइज Uh, 2015 to 2019 because 2020 थाउजेंड नाइनटीन बिकॉज टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी में हुआ नहीं पेपर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन मेमरी बेस्ड पेपर्स थे सारे वैसे भी तो ट्वेंटी टू टू जीरो टू वन का वी डेंट गेट अ गुड रिसोर्स वेर वी कैन बैंक अपॉन सो वट एवर एनालिसिस वी गैज आर गोइंग टू शो यू विल बी ऑन द बेस ऑफ टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन टू टू थाउजेंड नाइन दैट इज दो उसमें अच्छी बात क्या थी चालीस 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 क्वेश्चन आते थे फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री और मैथ्स के राइट सो डिफिकल्टी वेटेज की अगर हम बात करते हैं सो डिफिकल्टी वेटेज में द पेपर इज इजी टू मॉडरेट टफ तो ऑलमोस्ट 10-15 परसेंट ही आता है कोई ज्यादा पेपर टफ नहीं आता है तो आप मान के चलिए एंटायर पेपर विल फॉल इन दी कैटेगरी इजी टू मीन विटी 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19। बट द चैप्टर सब्जेक्ट वाइज ट्रेंड सो केमिस्ट्री में अगर हम बात करते हैं तो कितने क्वेश्चन जो है टफ बन रहे थे दैट मीन्स नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन फोर्टी अर्लियर राइट विच दे रिड्यूस टू थर्टी फाइव फॉर फिजिक्स एंड केमिस्ट्री इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन सो अगर हम चालीस क्वेश्चन टफ की बात करते हैं तो आप देखो विटी टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन में ट्वेंटी वर इजी सिक्सटीन वर मॉडरेट इन ओनली फोर वर्ड ऑफ इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एटीन सेवनटीन और फाइव ऑलमोस्ट सेम है फिफ्टी परसेंट ईजी होगा और आप मान के चलिए और फिर फोर्टी परसेंट मॉडरेट होगा टेन परसेंट टफ होगा दिस इज दी कैटेगराइजेशन इवन इफ यू इट सी इन फिजिक्स ट्वेंटी वर ईजी फिफ्टीन वर मॉडरेट एंड फाइव वर डिफिकल्ट ऑलमोस्ट यही स्टार्ट है मैथ्स की बात करते हैं मैथ्स में दे विल आस्क यू सम मॉडरेट व्हिच इज अगेन वेरी ऑब्वियस मैथ्स में इजी नहीं होता है फिजिक्स सेमेस्टर में डायरेक्ट स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चंस यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट इन द एग्जाम राइट सो दैट इज वेयर इट बिकम्स अ लॉट ऑफ स्कोरिंग अपॉर्चुनिटी सो मोर ऑफ द पेपर विल बी इंक्लाइंड टुवर्ड्स मॉडरेट एंड देन यू विल हैव इजी एंड सो ब्लू लाइन इज इजी रेड इज मॉडरेट एंड दिस येलोइश लाइन और द ऑरेंजिश लाइन दैट यू आर सीइंग इज द टफ कंपोनेंट Okay, so now we talk about the class-wise weight. That since you are in class 11th, and we have made it with regard to CBSE curriculum. So if we say uh, red is class 12th, and the in good point was in earlier examinations, you can see that it was above 80 percent, above 80 percent, which reduced in 2019 to 68 percent. So even if I have to see in 2022, which is going to happen, you expect 70 percent of your paper to come from class 12th. So if you are a class 12th candidate, most probably it is written by class 12th candidates only. So If you are preparing for any board, specifically CBSE, you are all set already for VT. The only problem would be that you have to solve a lot more questions than you were solving for uh, JE mains in that stipulated amount of time. That's the only practice that you require. Physics. Uh, if we talk about class VT, overall 2015 to 2019, class 12th has 77% of the questions. Mathematics have 68.5%. and chemistry was almost like equal weightage class 12th was 57 and 43% uh, was 11th so class chemistry mein jo kai topics goc aur jaise topics hain wo wahan aa jate honge jiski wajah se weightage udhar ki taraf tilt ho jati hai ghabrane ki zarurat nahi hai class 12 leads the syllabus which is very very good now we guys are going to give you weightage of uh, units also so agar hum chemistry mein baat karte hain inorganic 19% weightage organic is 42.5 ये जो फिगर लिखी है नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस दैट हैव बीन आस्ट ठीक है ना नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस तो 14 इंटू फाइव हमने फाइव इयर्स एनालाइज करे 200 हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन वो देर इन दी केमिस्ट्री मेमोरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस सो दिस इज फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री विच इज 38 एट परसेंट सो गुड पॉइंट इन ऑर्गेनिक की वेटेज कम है वी वर एक्सपेक्टिंग की वन थर्ड वेटेज सबकी होनी चाहिए थी इन ऑर्गेनिक इज हेयर गाइज इन ऑर्गेनिक इज ओनली नाइनटीन परसेंट ऑर्गेनिक एन फिजिकल सो दैट बिकम्स स्कोरिंग अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर यू गाइज मैथमेटिक्स की अगर हम लोग बात करते हैं तो मैथमेटिक्स में एल्जेब्रा 30 परसेंट कैलकुलस थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव कॉर्डिनेट देन वेक्टर एंड देन ट्रिग्नोमेट्री ट्रिग्नोमेट्री 4.5 परसेंट एंड वेक्टर इज 14 परसेंट एंड कॉर्डिनेट इज 14.5 सो वेक्टर इफ यू सी इज 14 परसेंट ऑफ द पेपर और कॉर्डिनेट जोमेट्री जो कि बहुत बड़ी यूनिट है दैट इज फोर्टीन सो यू शुड स्ट्रेस ऑन विच थ्री यूनिट्स एल्जेब्रा कैलकुलस वेक्टर दिस इज वेरी मच सिमिलर टू वॉट यू सी ऑन जेई मीन्स राइट 
फिजिक्स की अगर हम बात करें मेजर चंक इज इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिज्म वेरी वेरी टेंटेड टूवर्ड इट फोर्टी वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट मॉडर्न फिजिक्स फिफ्टीन परसेंट मैकेनिक्स इलेवन एंड देर इज मैकेनिक्स टू सेवन पॉइंट फाइव ऑप्टिक्स इलेवन एंड थर्मोडाइनमिक्स फोर परसेंट वेरी लेस वेटेड टू थर्मोडाइनमिक बिकॉज इट फॉल्स इन दिलेवंथ क्लास कैटेगरी नाउ वेटेज ऑफ द चैप्टर राइट सर दिस इज यूनिट सेट यू टॉक्ट अबाउट नाउ इफ यू हैव टू टॉक अबाउट द चैप्टर वेटेज इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर्स और द एंटायर चैप्टर लिस्ट सो हेयर कम्स दी चैप्टर वेटेज सो आउट ऑफ last 5 years that is 2015 to 2019 current electricity was the most asked question 21 questions in those 5 years so if you see the average four so why we have given you the average that means you can expect these many questions in your paper in 2022 ho sakta hai ye thoda sa kam ho because these stats are built on the basis that 40 questions were going to be asked now you have 35 questions in physics and chemistry uh, so thoda thoda weightage girega बट आपको रफली आइडिया लग जाएगा कि हाँ कौन कौन से टॉपिक्स किस प्रायरिटी ऑर्डर में आई शुड प्रिपेयर सो करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी मैग्नेटिक्स ऑफ करंट सेमी कंडक्टर्स वेव ऑप्टिक्स ऑल्टरनेटिक डुअल नेचर रे ऑप्टिक्स सो इफ यू सी ऑल दीज टॉपिक्स टिल हेयर आर क्लास ट्वेल्थ द क्लास इलेवंथ फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट कम्स सेंटर ऑफ मार्स मोमेंट एंड गोलिजन विच वी हैव वन पॉइंट फाइव दैट मीन्स सम पीपल विल हैव टू क्वेश्चन एंड सम पीपल माइट हैव वन क्वेश्चन राइट इफ दे आर ऑब्वियसली दे हैव डिफरेंट सेशन You can take the snapshot because the list is available here every chapter with you guys. Now the coming to the uh, chemistry part. अच्छा और बहुत सारे लोग इसी PDF की demand करेंगे वो हम Telegram group पे डाल देंगे the Telegram group that we have for 2022. You can go and download. It will be available the next day. Today we are working but we will make it the PDF. Now chemistry की अगर हम बात करते हैं तो chemistry में most important topic here becomes alcohol phenol ethers and general general organic chemistry. That is why the weightage of 11th was more as compared to physics and chemistry in uh, physics and maths in chemistry thermodynamics chemical kinetics amines hydrocarbons so 4.6 4.5 that means that's a highest weightage topic uh, 3.2 in this so you can uh, decide and prepare accordingly if you guys are going to write but more importantly i would say do not stress too much here because the paper is actually very easy but yes if you have to revise specifically for witty then you know what i have to do right all these chapters are mentioned similarly for math the most important topic is application of derivatives probability vector 3d vector algebra so first four topics if you combine the first four 4 3 3 kitne ho gaye bachcho 10 aur hum ek 3 kar dete hain 13 questions you can expect from these four chapters only out of the 40 questions that you are going to get so that you understand how much tilted it is towards 25% of the paper is asked from these four chapters right then you have complex number differential matrices parabola the definite hyperbola and so and so forth it can go on right so ek ye screen hai aur isme achhi baat kya maths ke jo aapke dusre chapters hai wo bahut kam puche jate hain quadratic statistics set relation pair of lines straight lines no question have been asked very strange here but they don't ask for i don't know for what reason but these are the list of chapters which you should focus on maths if you want to get a good score so we have given you the detailed analysis of witty now your target should be that you should at least practice some mocks uh for witty uh, so that you can just manage your time well the witty srm and manipal these are the three colleges which almost have the same set of people applying to them and same set of paper pattern also so if you are preparing for one of them uh, yes or if you want to get into uh, any one of them it's better to give exam for all three and see where you can get the maximum scholarship and the best branch this is what we will advise but we will talk about this later on if you are preparing for witty i think this is going to help you a lot right do let us know in the comment section if there is anything which we guys can do for you just to end this up uh, the registration closes for witty on 30th march and the date of examination will be from 30th may to 7th june multiple shifts morning evening and they will give you the admit cards and everything it will be an online based examination and they will release the dates a bit later abhi to registration hi chal rahi hai 30th april tak theek hai previous year chapter wise question bank we have uploaded on the marks app if you want to see that what sort of questions have been asked remember those were memory based so we do not we cannot say that 100% they would be the same question that are there that were asked actually but yes uh, if you are looking for a previous year memory based chapter wise arranged question bank that's available in the marks app for witty as well i hope all this information is going to help you and nail the witty examination if you are trying to clear the witty examination and hope that you actually crack category 1 or at max category 2 because below that category 3 category 4 and category 5 according to me does not make any value uh, if you are looking for a in generic college for this keep working hard and let us know in the comment section what still you want to know us about the witty exam god bless